about me, my name is Osvaldo Sanchez, as uh, you introduced to me. Um, I have um, a small cattery, Maine Coon cattery in Spain. Um, I've been breeding not for a long time uh, Maine Coons, but my history for cats is uh, coming from uh, a long time. Actually, I was breeding cats since I was uh, five years old. Okay. Actually, my grandmother, she was uh, breeding uh, Persians, and today in Europe we have a lot of uh, Persians from my grandmother, and this is the, the place where my passion for cats is uh, coming from. Um, and right now I started my cattery uh, you know, a few years ago, um, and uh, we are very happy with uh, the work that they have done with the main coons and uh, and uh, I think uh, I'm really proud about uh, this uh, breed and uh, what they have right now. Uh, what do you think about in general about Spanish main coon? Well this is a very good question because uh, main coons in Spain I think a few years ago maybe let's say five years ago maybe six uh, we had a very good main coons, but we don't have the main coons that uh, sometimes the judges are looking for, right? For nomination, for uh, best in variety, and all this stuff that uh, you just are looking for in them, according to the to the standard. Um, my feeling, and this is what, uh, for example, when we when I talk to my my colleagues, uh, another main coon breeders, we see that uh, we are improving a lot right now. Uh, the category two that is uh, in, I mean, Maine Coon is in part of category two. Um, we think that we are improving right now a lot the, the, the Maine Coon. Right now you can see uh, very good Maine Coons in Spain. Uh, you can see very extreme Maine Coons sometimes. You can see very nice um, uh, Maine Coons according to the, to the standard uh, in FIFA. Uh, I, I still think that we need to do a lot of work. Mm -hmm. I still think that um, we have to, to be close to Italy, for example, um, in Italy you have a, a very good uh, Maine Coons. Uh, in Germany, in, in Denmark, in other countries, there are very good Maine Coons. I think we are getting in a very good level. I think I feel proud about the work that we have done in the, in the last year, last years, and I think we are in the way, in the right way to, to get a top Maine Coons that you have in other okay. countries. <laughs> so, can we start to see the nomination and the momentum? <clears throat> okay. So now we see a Norwegian forest and a Maine Coon. What do you think uh, about them? Well, sometimes for judges it's very uh, complicated to, to judge a Maine Coon, um, a Norwegian. This, for example, the judge is looking right now a very extreme Maine Coon, very nice Maine Coon for uh, Fernugo Garcia in Spain. Um, this cat, this is a girl, and what you can see there is that the girl is very extreme. He has a very stream nose line. Uh, the profile is very, um, um, it's very stream as well. When, when I when I say stream is uh, big, square, and is taking the uh, the uh, the standard to the to the high level. For example, here we have we are seeing the a cat from Joseph. Joseph is a, also a top breeder from Czech Republic. Um, this cat is a young boy. He was. Um, competing in uh, uh, class 11, that is uh, Johnsters. Mm -hmm. And this cat, for example, you see the, the proportion of the cat. This cat is very big. The head is extreme, extreme, extreme big for me, for my point of view. Has a very nice tail and is very big, long in, term, in terms of uh, body. Um, what the Norwegian that we, we are seeing here is uh, in, the, in the, the, the white cat is also very nice. According to the, to, the, to the standard, you can see the, the triangle of the, of the head. But uh, in this case, for example, you can see that um, the main coon uh, will be better in this case, in this, in this situation, because of the stream of the main coon and the standard. Yeah, yeah I really love the profile of this girl. It's yeah. a, really something that it's not so easy to see. Yeah, uh, this is, again, this is what I mentioned before, that uh, uh, some breeders, we are taking cats from other countries to try to improve our, our cats in Spain. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the case of Hugo, the girl that we, we have, we, we are seeing in the in the right hand side. Mm -hmm. um, in this cat, what, what we are seeing is that this is very stream, very nice profile, very nice chin, very nice ears, and this is this is uh, this when he get babies from there, you know, he will improve more yeah. and more. And this is what what I mean that we are improving in the last years. Yeah. And in this case, Joseph, for example, is also very stream cat. Um, Joseph, he's breeding for maybe 10 years at all here, if I'm not mistaken. He has done a very good job. 
He's a um, uh, judge as well for category one and category two in FIFA. Um, he's having a very, very strong and very nice cut as well. Yeah, and I, I really love the ear set of the boy and yeah. the, his muzzle and the size as well. Yeah. You see, you see there the the the, the arm for this cat, the, the body, yeah. the, the, the bone is very strong, it's very big. Yeah, it is. And this is something that uh, also, um, in this case, uh, Joseph is having. He has a very strong cat. So, um, yeah, yeah, he's it, really a nice boy. Yeah. And uh, it will be, it was a really difficult choice for the judge. It, yeah. it takes a long time. And uh, he decided for the boy in, uh, for the nomination, but yeah. it was really not easy because yeah, uh, yeah, like we can we were looking the the nomination and the judge stayed maybe fifteen or yeah, maybe twenty yeah. minutes. Twenty minutes deciding. Looking the car, yeah. deciding it was uh, it was a very good. Uh, yeah, they, they was both uh, really great. Yeah. Cat. here here uh, Joseph got the nomination, and sometimes for judges it's getting more and more complicated in Spain to decide which car they want to take because as I mentioned before, we have a very strange cats. Here we have a Norwegian forest cat, a boy with yeah. really great uh, texture and uh, condition of course. Yeah. And it's not so easy in Spain, I suppose, to have this kind of condition also yeah. of this boy. Yeah, exactly. In Spain, for example, when we see the Norwegians for, ma for many years, uh, we had a very good uh, Norwegian catch in Spain. Actually, we are still having a very good Norwegian catch in Spain. And we are, I think we are in the way to get to this level as well. Mm -hmm. Because it's in Spain, many breeders from other countries were looking at cats from Spain because we had a very good level of uh, cats in Spain for Norwegians. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see that uh, they are really great, in great condition. And also this uh, young girl, uh, it's really nice and uh, balanced. And you have a higher level yeah. of uh, Norwegian forest. Yeah, in this case, this is a cat from uh, uh, Laura. It's uh, another Spanish breeder. Mm -hmm. um, she had... Uh, uh, it's a very nice cat. You can see the triangle of the, yeah. of the, of the Norwegian, the body as well, uh, the, the length of the body, the tail. It's love the cat. Yeah, she won the nomination. The so. nomination, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she is really nice. Yeah. And here we have a Maine Coon boy, a blue boy, that uh, is against a Norwegian forest uh, black and white, if I'm uh, right. This is, do you know this cat is from Spain? No, this well, this this cat is from um, a Portuguese breeder. Okay. Yeah, and um, uh, well, we are lucky here because uh, uh, we are very close to Portugal, and we had a lot of uh, Portuguese people in this yeah. uh, show uh, this weekend. Uh, but uh, this is a very nice cat. The condition you can see the condition of them of the cat. This is something very important because sometimes uh, also a mistake that sometimes we have done in this kind of, of cats or medium hair, uh, medium medium yeah. long hair, is that we present the cat not in the right condition. For the judge, it's very important to have the cat, not, not just a very nice cat according to the standard, but a cat that um, has the right condition. And it's not so easy for a country like ours that it's yeah. really hot uh, yeah. most of the uh, year. Yeah. So. But when, they, when, they, when you talk to the judge and they, when they see a nice cat, sometimes they take decisions. You know, in, in this case, they have a very, two, very nice two cats. Yeah. And sometimes they are taking decisions based on the condition. Yeah, because it's a also, show, so they have to show. be in the best. They have to condition. be in the best, in the best condition. You know, when when you have a cat, uh, two cats with uh, more or less the same, uh, same proportion, same same thing. Sometimes you have to take something to the decision. In this case, we have um, a, a very nice uh, main Coon with uh, competing with a Norwegian cat as well. In this case, um, this decision was not easy for the cat for the judge. Uh, we had a very nice uh, Norwegian cat with a very good condition, very nice body, very nice triangle, very nice ears. Yeah, nice profile, nice really, profile. really correct. It's not so yeah. easy to see. So, yeah. In this case, uh, this is um, a main coon uh, for another Spanish uh, Spanish breeder, and uh, the condition is good as well. The girl is very nice, is very good. Uh, if I remember correctly, the, the nomination went to the um, uh, Norwegian cat. Yeah, but uh, it was uh, also this time it was a really hard choice because uh, this uh, main coon girl have maybe a little older style but uh, it's a really nice profile and uh, nice yeah. body and uh, exactly yeah so um, the, no the nomination went to the um, uh, uh, um, uh, friends girl yeah. yeah so here we have um, uh, an outer female yeah. Norwegian forest and the main coon from Italy in this exactly. case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is what I mentioned before. In, uh, you, you can see this girl. This girl is uh, very nice. You, you see the muscle. This yeah, is the chin. Ears. The ears. The, the, the shape of the, in yeah. is very, the ears is, are very nice. 
Um, in this case, uh, Claudio, they have a very good cat um, uh, in Italy from Clava Kuhn. Um, in this case, the Norwegian, uh, the Norwegian, this Norwegian is very nice as well. Uh, condition is relevant, is okay, but this this Maine Coon is very nice. Yeah, from it's my point an of view. outstanding Maine Coon. So it was not so easy to, yeah. to win this. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. You challenge. see, he got. Yeah. I think he got the, the nomination as yeah. well. Um, and this is what I mentioned before. In Italy, you have done a very good job uh, for yes, uh, Maine Coon. And you, you improve a lot, a lot, a lot. And you have, right now, you have uh, one of the top level of. Uh, cats. This is uh, one of my favorite Spanish Maine Coon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is um, this is a uh, Quixote from Guillave Maine Coons. This is a nice white cat. And I think in the last uh, maybe ten shows, I remember he got almost all the best in shows in Spain, Spain and Portugal, and France as well. I think he went to, to France as well. He got the, the best in show. Uh, in this case, we have um, uh, this white cat. is very nice. This is the the breeder from uh, from Guillave's uh, Maine Coon. And um, I think the competition for the best best in show uh, tomorrow will be very strong because we are having in category two. Uh, we we are expecting to have very nice cats. Yeah, I, I think the same because uh, the Norwegian uh, forest level is really high and also Maine Coon is really high. Yeah. So it will be really hard the season for the judges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know we are in the Mediterranean winter, so we are expecting to have top level cats in the in the and best in have, show. Yes. yes. And, uh, Will be a nice show tomorrow for the nominations. I'm yeah. sure of it. Also, this Norwegian this cat, really nice. cat yeah, is very yeah, nice. Yeah, very yeah. nice. It's very so, nice cat. Uh, some question about you, and uh, then I, I leave you go to your cats. <laughs> if you if you have to describe your perfect cat, uh, Maine Coon, of course. What can you tell us? Well, Maine Coon for me is a very special breed. Uh, Maine Coons are uh, very uh, intelligent cats. Even some people, in, you know, when you search in the internet, some people call them as uh, the, uh, the dog cat mm -hmm. because, you know, they are very clever, they are very close to you. The temperament that they have is very special. I, I, I have seen a lot of cats and maybe another breeder can say the same, but uh, mm -hmm. from my point of view, the Maine Coon has the best uh, temperament from, from the cats. Mm -hmm. I like as well uh, big cats. And uh, when I start uh, breeding Maine Coons, when I wanted this to decide uh, what I wanted to have, and I wanted to have a big cat with a nice temperament, and I think the Maine Coon covers what I was I was looking for. I think uh, the Maine Coon, they are very clever, uh, they are very soft, they are very uh, they get part of your family and get inside your heart. So so this is why I, I think I will never stop breeding Maine Coons, uh, hopefully. But I think uh, this is how very in a very high level I can describe. Uh, what a main coon is it's a very special cat, uh, very big cat. Sometimes some people as well um, are looking for uh, what they call links. For example, in Spain, yeah. you know, this kind of uh, aggressive cat with a very um, if, um, feline, um, um, you know, look, look and feel. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think the main coon covers uh, this yeah. uh, this part. You're right. Yeah. And for me, for me, something as well that is very important when when I am breeding. Um, and I think this is what other breeders as well have to take in consideration and I think uh, many of, uh, of the Spanish breeders are doing that right now. For me, what I'm looking for when I um, decide to keep a cat uh, in my cattery, the first is uh, the, the, to have a healthy, healthy cat. I think it's very important that we have a healthy cat. Secondly, uh, cats with a nice behavior, nice temperament. Mm -hmm. Then a uh, very nice cat in terms of uh, uh, shape and um, standards and then color. You know, when I decide to breed, I wanted to have these four pillars uh, in my in my category, mm -hmm. and uh, I think this is something that I am starting getting. Yeah. You know, it's very important for me to have that. But in, in a very high level, this is um, how I describe the main coons and uh, the four pillars that I think is very important, uh, especially for pet lovers when they wanted to, to look for a cat. More important is they have to have healthy cat and uh, yeah. nice temperament cat. So I'm really happy to to come here to Spain and to have the possibility to show some uh, hidden treasure from your country because yeah. it's not so easy to see Spanish cat uh, yeah. in the show in the Middle Europe. Yeah. Uh, so I'm really happy to was there yeah. and I really thank you for your time. Yeah, I have to thank you as well to your, to your, to your <laughs> company to your, uh, because you have done an, an excellent job. Uh, we have seen the job that you have done today and I think uh, very professional. Uh, the streaming that we have seen and the people you've seen in the internet is very, 
is very nice and uh, I think the, the professional work that you, you have done today is improving also where uh, Spanish um, a Mediterranean winner show. So thank you very much. Now we start with a little ad and then we talk with Nieves for uh, category one.